se pudo quedar tranquilo y nació al día siguiente. Viene el centro, clave de gol. Soccer is the most popular sport around the globe. It's universal, it's celebrated, and all you need to play is a ball. It's one of the, the things that makes soccer so unique is the different cultures that you see. You know, out here there's five different languages that, you know, get spoken on the field. Um, you don't see that a lot in other sports. Soccer is one of those things that when you meet somebody from other countries, you make friends instantly simply because you you connect, you share the same culture. You know, the big soccer countries like Brazil, Argentina, Portugal, Italy, it's almost like a religion. Uh, there's a lot of importance. Um, it's very emotional, passionate. In many cases, when it comes to professional sports, soccer is the biggest, and in some cases, the only mainstream national sport. So yes, soccer is the world sport, but it's not an American sport. Professional soccer has officially arrived in San Francisco. They call themselves the San Francisco Deltas. 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 The San Francisco Deltas. The San Francisco Deltas is the newest professional sports franchise in San Francisco. We are a professional soccer team, uh, but more than, than just a soccer team, we are what we hope a platform to really bring the community together. The Deltas are trying to make soccer work in America by having reasonable ticket prices and focusing on building a strong fan base and community, they are gaining traction in San Francisco. In, you know, a lot of professional sports, it kind of seems like you know, they want to make a lot of money um, and, it, it, and you know, they, the fans kind of fall on the wayside a little bit. And these guys are like, okay, what do you guys want from us? What can we do to make it better? So we spoke to fans and we listened to fans. We said, tell us what you like about teams. Tell us what you don't like. Who, what team do you follow? What frustrates you? And there are a number of things that they told us. Maybe we shouldn't charge $14 for a beer and $20 for a pizza. You know, what, what we're trying to do as, as an organization is just really connect with the community and the city. You know, San Francisco is a, a really special place and there's a lot of unique uh, communities here. And I think that that's what, that's what we're trying to, to show everybody is that we can connect those communities through this game. So I hope that people see actually thinking about things from a fan perspective actually allows you to make more money, but you're doing so by providing it to more people. And maybe we should also follow and recapture that historical essence of professional sports. It's a very close community, and I think a soccer team would be perfect here. It's something that everybody could get involved in and could rally around. I think the Deltas could become the second or third most popular sports team in the city of San Francisco. As soccer continues to grow, the sponsorship and fan dollars will follow, and, and U.S. soccer will become a sport that I think is on par with our other major sports here in the country. I think it's growing a lot quicker than the average American thinks, but I will tell you that everybody in the soccer community that has played in packed stadiums that I have, it, it is blowing up here, um, and I think it just, like anything, it takes time. It's a young league, um, but it's, soccer is definitely growing here. Right now, soccer is still the outsider in the U.S., but with teams like the Deltas on the rise, soon, soccer will be fully integrated into American sports culture. People watch sports because they want to belong. They want a community that they can get behind. Internationally, Soccer has this community, but in America, the community is far too small to thrive. So City Hall was, I think, one of those kind of pivotal moments for us when our stadium was approved. So we play at Kizar Stadium, original home of the 49ers, the Raiders, Pele played there. Huge national teams from soccer, from Germany, from Scotland have played there. Uh, Led Zeppelin has done huge concerts there, so there's a lot of history in, in Kizar Stadium. So we had to go in front of City Hall to get it approved. We got nearly 1,500 people to send letters of support. We had 200 people show up on a Thursday morning at 8 a.m. at City Hall, not knowing when we were going to be in the agenda or how long the meeting was going to last. And 50 of those people went up to the microphone and said, this is why I want soccer in San Francisco. It's, it's huge for the city because, you know, it's, I think it's, it's something that's been coming. It's something that the city can really, um, can really see grow. We always dreamed about uh, having a professional team here. Um, and when the Deltas came along, it was like, you know, a really exciting moment. I think, you know, the timing is right for them. Waited 30, you know, 37 years for this, and they're finally here. 
they've, they started playing and they're doing quite well. Um, we are a city of change. There's a lot of you know, new people that are coming in here and it's a city of innovation and, and really thinking differently on how to do a lot of things. If you look at all these major startups and all these big tech companies here, uh, all, none of them started because they were doing things the same way as everyone else. They all started and they all became successful because they found something different and found something, a new way of doing it. And I think that's what the Deltas are doing. They're, they're finding a new way of doing, of running a, a professional sports business uh, in a way that really you know, puts the fans first and puts what they want to, want to enjoy and what they would like um, as, as their number one priority.